What up, guys? I'm Coco Jones, and you're watching Celeb Secrets TV. Oh, man. Music for me was always, like, in my blood. It's funny. My mom said I used to be singing to Barney, and, like, whatever he would sing, I would, like, mimic it back perfectly. And one of her friends was like, whoa, your child can actually sing. So I've always been, like, mumbling, like, musically. But I started, I guess, when I did this talent competition in my hometown. One of the judges was a producer, and he kind of took me under his wing, and I did music for him. And then that music kind of put me on next big thing on Disney Channel. So kind of through a talent show. I get my music inspiration from life, especially when I'm writing, just because I want it to be relatable to me. I'm the one that's got to sing it. It's got to mean something to me. Um, but a lot of the inspiration is from artists that are very creative, like Justin Timberlake. I like Bryson Tiller. I like Party Next Door. I like a lot of guy artists. Um, Beyonce, you know, had to throw her in the mix. You know, people that are like just one of a kind. Miss me when I'm gone. First of all, my Coco locals were like, music, please. I'm like, I got y'all. So, um, Miss Me When I'm Gone is a song that I didn't write this one. I heard it and it just meant a lot to me because I feel like so many people feel like they're invisible. But this song is kind of just saying everyone is loved by everyone. You know, there's someone out there that's gonna miss you. You know, you gotta know that you're loved. Also in the video, I thought it was really cool that we incorporated military because our soldiers, they do go out and they risk their lives. They sacrifice for us daily and we miss them a huge amount. You know, it's just a song about really loving someone and realizing, hey, I, I am really loved, you know. Inspiration behind the video, we just wanted it to match the, the song, which is very powerful and very heartfelt, which is why we decided to incorporate something much more serious and relatable. You know, I, I kind of keep it over the surface and cookie cutter, but this song was really my chance to be serious and say something that could really impact people. So we wanted to make the video just as powerful. And what I loved about filming was we were in nature. We were literally like in a desert. Like we took like a bunch of rides in California and then we were like at this desert. I was like, okay. It was super cool though. It was, it was very like powerful and like all the trees and stuff. I felt like I was back in the country and I was wearing no shoes. So I really felt country. It was fun. Okay, so like the thing is, guys, you don't understand. If I could make it happen tomorrow, it would be there. And I mean, I have enough songs to make it happen tomorrow. But the thing is, I want it to be perfect, you know? I want it to be worth all the waiting, you know? So I don't have a set date, but like, you guys love me. So like, hold on, okay? Like it's right next door, like almost there. <laughs> but we'll see though. I'm really working on it constantly. I'm always making new music, so. It'll be out there. Oh, there will definitely be new singles dropping. I mean, I don't have a set date about that, but there is music that I, I'm sitting on like an evil, I don't know, evil what, I don't know. But I'm sitting on music and it'll come out and it'll be great and you'll be like, okay girl, we ain't even mad at you. And I'm like, see, I know, I told y'all. Oh gosh, let's get deep. Um, well, as a person, I'm definitely not as obsessed with bedazzles as I was in that shiny stage of my life. Um, <laughs> but personally, I have grown a lot just because I've gotten older and I've learned a lot more about what I want to say and the music that I like, you know, it, and it changes a lot and I, I change a lot. So I'm learning to like really pinpoint who I am as a person, which is really cool and weird. Um, music wise, I think I, I talk about a lot more real stuff. I was singing about slumber parties and um, basketball back then. So uh, not really in that stage of life anymore. It's a lot more about um, what I would want, I guess my sister to hear and be like, okay, you know, this is a good message or what I would want my friends to hear and be like, yes, girl, we totally get you, you know? So I've definitely grown a lot topic wise, style wise and maturity wise. Um, I mean, surprised when they hear, I mean, I guess, I, I mean, I wouldn't say this about myself, like, hey, fun fact, but I mean, I guess you would be surprised to hear that I like, I'm really obsessed with heights. Like, you know how people are like afraid of it? I like, like heights. Like I would want to jump out of a plane and like jump off of buildings and things like that. Like, I love that stuff. Like, I'm so weird, like roller coasters and stuff. Okay, this is totally bad, like <laughs> security dollar. But like when I'm on a roller coaster, I like buckle my seatbelt kind of loose so that I feel like I'm flying. <laughs> I don't know, I just like the rush. It's like so scary and fun, but yeah. That's probably something weird. He's like looking at me crazy, but you know what? It's fun. 